Thus far, we've coded events for buttons and for text boxes and other controls. But forms also have events. And one of those key events is the load event for a form, which occurs when the form first is launched. And to code that event, it's, you can do it the same way both in BB and C Sharp as far as creating your event subprocedure. And that is simply double click somewhere on your form, but not on one of the controls. So I'm just going to double click on my form here. And in the C Sharp example, it's giving me a subprocedure for form one load. And I can write my code here. Well, why would we do this? We may want to read in a database or a text file when we first load the form and then populate some controls in the form, such as a grid or a drop down list, list box, uh, with that data. And the form load event is a great way to do that. We're not ready to look at bringing in data yet, but let's just do a couple things so, you can so I can demonstrate that this actually works. And we might put in something into one of our text boxes. So I'm going to type in txt student ID dot text equals. And let's just put in a number here of 98765. And then I'm going to set up the first name. And we'll just have this say John. And we'll do the last name. Which we'll put in as Doe. And I'm also going to change the color of the form itself. So in C Sharp, we can refer to the form as this. And in VB, it'd be me. So this dot back color. equals color dot and make it lime green. And let's just test this. Actually, I'm going to go back to my form first. You can see the form. There's our data, our default data in our text boxes. The form is the, the back color for the form is control. And I'm going to run this. And so when it starts up, my data now is what I specified in that form load. So 98765 is our student ID. The name is John Doe, and our form is indeed lime green. 